Three coming at you. Um, well, as you guys know, I'm a Manco mini bike. Um, this is the Manco Thunderbird. Um, well, ordered some parts from eBay and they come in today and I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, I did a governor removal on this mini bike. It's a motor I picked up at an auction for five bucks. Um, it did no spark. The set did not run. I brought it home, cleaned up the flywheel, changed the fluid as far as right up. So I had enough runtime. I was like, well, you know what? For ten, five bucks, the auction. I'm gonna remove the governor. So that's what I did. As you can see, I made a linkage right there. It goes from there to back here to the throttle. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube that does that. It's not going all the way wide open, but when you get going, that's plenty. This thing scoots. If I wanted to, I could switch it out. I will eventually. Not in this video, though. So I got the new air box and everything today. The choke holder and all that shit. I'll show you guys that. <clears throat> so it's been pretty good going here. Oh, here it is. So let's cut open this guy and see what we got going on. Let's grab a blade. Maybe. Now this one will work here. I'm going to cut this open quick and I'll come back. Okay, hold on there. Alright, we're back. We got it open. Let's see what we got going on here. There she beans. Is that it? Yep. Alright. See what we got going on here. Let's go over to this table. Might need these parts in here. I have to use two hands. Hold on a minute, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. That I, I forgot to mention this. These parts come from OMB Warehouse. Um, they're on the internet. You can buy upgrade parts from high performance filters, jets for the carburetor, billet flywheel, whatever you want. So let's uh, let's get this installed. Um, I think we got everything pretty much we need. Got all my tools. Grab this. We'll need this. That. The other nuts. All right, let's do this. This should be pretty fun. I've never done one of these, so this is this will be my first how-to video. See how well it goes. I don't even have to tip off the carburetor. The jet's already been drilled out once. I think we'll just pop these off. Loosen this side up. I'm gonna turn off my feel though. I'd hate to see that. I don't have the choke lever. I'm going to look here in a minute. I think I might have one. I hope so. I forgot to take off the choke lever, so we kind of lost that. But that's okay. That's what I have parts for. Alright, let's see if we can find the choke lever. But you know what? I got one right here. Look at that. Old stock carburetor. Woohoo! Got one. All right, I'm on that baby right there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. My camera was getting low. The uh, battery flash had turned off on y'all. I'm gonna mount this quick. I'm gonna set that screw in the back, and then I'll get back to you. Okay? So hold on a minute. Hey, we're back. Um, I got this mounted. Got this mounted. So we're going to put this on now. The question is, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it like this? I think when I do this, I think I'm going to put it like that. We'll figure it out. When I get mounted, I'll come back to you. So hold on a moment. Well, she's installed. There she beans. Wasn't it too bad? 
pretty quick on my leftovers. I like it. Choke still moves. I don't think it's hitting right there, is it? See right now, I just noticed. I think it's closing all the way. I don't know. I certainly hope so. Forgot to look at that. Oh, well. We'll find out when he started, I guess. So hold on a minute. Let's try her out. That's a first. Well, it's my clutch going bad now.